Hello, how are you? This is my first rec recorded vlog of me ranting. And before you turn it off, I'd like for you to just hear me out. This rant was inspired by someone who was blatantly ignorant and wrong about a topic that I know a lot about because it's my life. And they were completely trying to belittle and school me on this and I'm like do tell me more about what I go through please do and then when I revealed to them that I am what they were talking about they were all like oh my god but you don't look like it so if you guessed that we were talking about homosexuality you're right dear sorry my tripod is broken so you might fall down a little but anyway this lovely rant and I have a very long transcript I'm going to show you guys. See, it's several pages long because he got me started, honey. And I'll try to make this quick. This rant is for the blatant heterosexuals who keep judging my people and saying stupid things about us when you don't even know anything about us other than the fact that we are LGBTQA. I am not offended by your ignorance at all because it means that you don't know anything, but what I am anno is, is annoyed by the fact that some of you are very loud and vocal about your ignorance, and you're actually borderline bigots with some of the stuff you say. For those of you who believe that being gay is a choice, it's not. If it was, then you shouldn't have a problem going up to somebody who's the same gender as you and asking them to put on to go out on a date with you and asking them to have a relationship. If it really was a choice, then your heterosexuality shouldn't get in the way and have, and it should have nothing to do with it. You shouldn't be hesitant. You shouldn't be like, eh, because you could choose to do this. Biologically speaking, there's no problem if it's just a choice for you to go date somebody who's the same sex as you. Why am I so pissed off by this? One of my fellow bisexual friends asked me this because she was like, just ignore the dummies and keep going. But I was like, no, because as somebody who's a very vocal person, it's my duty to try to educate them so they don't sound stupid. And I really got pissed off when he was all like, but you don't look gay. I'm going to try not to swear, but WTF does gay look like, sweetheart? At the time, I was wearing a dress, some makeup, which I'm not wearing now because I'm tired of makeup. And, ugh. But anyway, some makeup and some heels. I guess I wasn't gay enough dressed for him. So I really do want to know from a heterosexual what the heck gay looks like. Anyway, for those of you who are not aware of it I am bisexual or pansexual and what uh, all that means is that even if I'm dating a guy I'm still gonna be attracted to a girl and even if I'm dating a girl I'll still be attracted to a guy and I don't care if what you're what you were born gendered as long as you and me have a connection we can date that's what makes me pansexual I'm attracted to your life to who you are not your genitalia if you will um the next thing that we're going to talk about is why I'm ranting. I was also offended because this person was so pissed off about June in America being um, LGBT Pride Awareness Month. He was pissed. Why do y'all need a whole... Why did they... Because he didn't know I was gay at the time. Why did they need a whole month to um, flaunt their big, their, um, what do he call it? Abominable behavior because we chose to be this way. And I was like, dude, for starters, this is when I let him know I was gay. You ready? I was like, for starters, dude, I didn't choose to be gay any more than I chose to be black or have multiple chronic illnesses. Being gay is a part of my genetic makeup, just like being sick is. We'll talk about genetics later. But um, I was like, things that are a choice are your occupation and your religion. I made the choice to leave Christianity behind and embrace my agnosticism. 
I made the choice to become a paranormal investigator. I made the choice to be a security officer. I chose to go to film school. I chose to graduate from film school. I chose to go to seminary. I made those choices. I chose to make this video. See, that's a choice. But my sexuality is not a choice. And neither is my so-called race. We'll talk about how I feel about race because we're all homo sapiens sapiens and how I feel that it's only ethnicities. But um, we'll talk about that in a different rant. Because see, what he didn't understand, getting back to what this rant is about, what he didn't understand is everything that I just said. And he wanted to continue to tell me how I made the choice to love a woman. That wasn't something that happened to me. And I was like, so you're sexually attracted to your wife, right? Yeah. I was like, did you make the choice to be sexually attracted to her when you could have been attracted to her brother? Ew. Oh, no. No, not ew. You're heterosexual. Therefore, you're not attracted to her brother. I'm homosexual. Therefore, your wife and her brother both look good to me. Just saying. Anyway, the thing that I'm actually getting really upset about and sick of hearing from heterosexual people who are ignorant to what they're saying is their labels and then putting us in boxes trying to tell us what we can and can't do who we should and shouldn't be how we should look how I should look as a gay woman that really pissed me off I was like oh okay since he, he did describe to me what a gay woman should look like she should have an obviously gay haircut instead of my teeny weeny afro that his wife actually has too um, she should, I should have been wearing a plaid or flannel looking shirt and cargo jeans or cargo shorts and some very masculine looking shoes if I was going to be a gay woman. I was like, wow, stereotype much? But anyway, the thing that I want people to understand is I am who I am. I am what I am. I am. And that's all that matters. I exist. That's all that matters. I mean, if I have to put it with blatant heterosexuality and monogamy and respect it, why can't you respect the fact that I am homosexual and I want to have multiple partners? Just saying. We'll get on a rant about why I want to have multiple partners and why it should be legal for people who can, you know, afford and who are old enough to decide to have multiple spouses if they want. I currently am single. I'm not really looking if I stumble across somebody and they are great and I just connect with them on a level like nothing we'll get together especially if they can handle the fact that I have chronic illnesses and might end up in the hospital a couple of times rant number one that had a second tangent so that was sub rant number one anyway like I was saying I just think that if people had more education about what makes a person homosexual and why we are who we are then maybe they wouldn't be so negative and horrible i mean i am definitely starting this rant because i really want to start a dialogue or a conversation between heterosexuals and homosexuals so we can get an understanding for each other just because we're homosexual doesn't mean we're attracted to every man or every woman we see it doesn't just like you as a heterosexual aren't attracted to every last woman you see. Homosexuals aren't attracted to every last man or woman they see either. That's something we both have in common. We have the type of person we're interested in. We're not going to walk up to you and try to hit on you just because we're gay. It's not going to happen. Sorry, sweetie. Keep your fantasies to yourself because that's delusional and a fantasy. Um... I want to open that dialogue so that we can educate people who want to do better because from my experience, especially having been a Christian, I hear a bunch of heresies and wives tales that people have heard passed down from mouth to mouth about their religion um, calling it an abomination or whatever and about their non-scientific beliefs that are just made up foolishness that somebody decided to say and kept perpetuating and passing down to their family members so 
this rant is pretty much just to open up the door so people can come and talk and we can say look this is what we are this is what we're attracted to this is not what's going to happen this is a myth every homosexual male is not attracted to every male he sees every homosexual female not attracted to every female she sees i have a type my male type is just like nerdy and geeky i really like geeky nerdy males i do and i like actually i like geeky nerdy females too i like nerds and geeks but i'm not gonna go up and talk to every nerd or geek i see not we can be friends but i mean unless we have that type of connection where i'm just like oh my god my life can't be without you i'm not gonna even ask you out on a date just how it is even though i like geeky nerds and i do and if you're a sci-fi geek be still my heart honey but anyway te wild tangent too yes um this is the end of this video because i'm about to start rambling about crazy things now so Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment, and share. I will warn you that if the comments start getting too negative or bigoted and people start trying to attack each other up here, I will definitely delete every comment and I will definitely disable commenting for this video. Don't even try it, sweetheart. Love you to bits. But we are not getting uncivil. I said in the beginning, a civil conversation, dear. Anyway, like I said, love you lots and I will see y'all in my next rant.